Hi, I'm Lance from Fusion Entertainment, and in this instalment of Tech Tips, we're going to look at Fusion's marine amplifier range. So let's have a look at the MSAM402 controls. Now the low pass filter passes all the frequencies below the selected point on the filter through to the connected subwoofer or speakers, and the high pass filter passes everything above the selected point through to the speakers. So the first thing you'll see is the filter selection switch, off for full range, low pass or high pass. Then there's the low pass filter, the high pass filter, the bass boost, the subsonic filter and the loudness adjustment. Now the first thing you need to do is select the position of the selector switch. In off you're supplying a full range signal to speakers connected to the amplifier. We're going to select low pass to drive a subwoofer. Now the frequency range is from 40 hertz to 160 hertz on the pot. Now it depends on what head unit you're driving it with, but if it's a fusion head unit, we have four options to drive a subwoofer frequency level. 55 hertz, 85 hertz, 120 and 160. Now dependent on the music content, it will dictate what frequency you drive along with the size of the subwoofer. Now if we're using the high pass mode, which you would use in a system where you have, say, a subwoofer, some bigger 7.7 .7 Fusion Signature Series speakers and some smaller 6.5s. You would set the high pass level at around 65 hertz and above, around there, and that would complement the other speakers in your system. So the next control is the bass boost. Now this is normally used on either subwoofer or larger speakers and it's one to be very careful with because overdriving this bass boost can damage your speaker or your subwoofer very easily. So I recommend a little bit of caution with this. You can use it just to boost up where you have a, sort of a, a weaker or low level bass setting. Now the next control is for our subsonic filter. Now this filters out pretty much noise, it's not music content. It's not audible um, and it can damage subwoofers, especially if you're in a ported box it causes a lot of flutter and gets the, the woofer cone moving, um, excursioning more than it should. So it's not actual music content, it's just an audible noise. So most people, you know, generally between 30 hertz down to 20 hertz is a good enough setting for that to be safe. Now the last setting is the level control. Now this is important because you can level match to your head unit. So generally have the amplifier set at zero. Um, make sure your bass and treble settings on your head unit are at zero. Wind the head unit volume up to about three quarters and just increase the level on the amplifier up to the desired level. You know, if you hear a little bit of clipping, just back it off a little bit and you should be safe. Now, we've covered off all the control settings, so let's have a look at the speaker connections on the other end of the amplifier. So the MS-AM402 amplifier is a two-channel, bridgeable at 4 ohms, class AV amp. Now you can see here on the terminal blocks, you've got your left and right channels, your positive and negative speaker connections. To wire it in bridge mode at 4 ohms for a 4 ohm subwoofer, you simply connect to the two outside terminals, which is marked clearly underneath the terminal block, as well as the speaker connections are marked on the top. And Generally that's what your bridging method is for, to power a subwoofer where you can get the maximum power out of the amplifier to suit a high, power, high powered subwoofer. Now this is the standard configuration for a single pair of speakers connected to the 402. Um, always observe polarity when you're connecting your speakers, otherwise you can get them out of phase, which can cause loss of bass. So that's the MSAM402. Let's have a look at the MSAM504 our 4 channel amp. Now the MSAM504 has the same controls as the 402, it just has two sets, one for the channel 1 and 2, and one for channel 3 and 4. Now the MSAM504 is our 4 channel amplifier, the controls are identical to the 402, but you have two sets, channel 1 and 2, channel 3 and 4. This gives you the ability to configure a subwoofer bridged on say channel 1 and 2 as we have here and speakers off channel 3 and 4. So we just put channel 1 and 2 in low pass for the subwoofer and I'm keeping channel 3 and 4 
turned off and full range because they're large speakers. Always ensure you've got the right RCA connections coming from your head unit to the amplifier, depending on whether it's a sub or speakers. So as you can see, channel one and two is in bridge mode. That's for the subwoofer. So we're connected to the two outside terminals and the other two channels are just connected to normal speaker connections. So now you're familiar with all the controls and settings of the Fusion Marine amplifier range. Now, tuning your amplifier is very subjective. It's dependent on the environment, so the size of the cabin. It's dependent on the size of the speakers you've got connected and also of your music content. So, rule of thumb is if it sounds good to you, that's job done. For more information, just contact us on the website, fusionentertainment.com, um, and look forward to the next instalment of Tech Tips.